Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. I hope you had a wonderful July 4th weekend. Weather was pretty good all weekend, except for yesterday. Had some rain move through here. So uh, that's why I'm inside today and not outside. And I know it's pretty nice outside. The deck is still kind of wet. So I'm just in here watching, watching the birds at the feeder <laughs> and the squirrels on the ground picking up the mess. So about 72 degrees here at the house and cloudy. Hopefully it'll clear up later on and get some sunshine. I uh, hope you had a chance to worship either in person or online uh, over the weekend for, yeah. Um, just trying to get myself organized here. I got my coffee here. Check-in time. There we go. Check-in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Do have my coffee here. I made some cold brew yet yesterday, so that's what I got. My Crossways Camps mug. So, cheers, church. Okay. So, our devotion today comes from Christ in our home. That we have the new copies of these at the church. If you haven't picked yours up, you can stop by there. And uh, our our uh, writer for this section, this first part of July, is Pastor Jennifer Obermuller, living in Georgetown, Texas. Enjoys writing, taking walks, especially with her dogs. So, Pastor Jennifer today, and our scripture reading is Psalm one nineteen. 73 to 80. Psalm 119, 73 to 80. <clears throat> I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have humbled me. Let your steadfast love become my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, because they have subverted me with, the, with guile. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, so that they may know your decrees. May my, may my heart be blameless in your statutes, so that I may not be put to shame. Okay, let's see what uh, Pastor Jennifer has to say about that. And then the title for our devotion from Christ in Our Home today is God is Good All the Time. And the theme verse is verse 76. Let your steadfast love become my comfort, according to your promise for you, to your servant. Someone called out, God is good. Others declared, all the time. Then they reversed the lines, all the time. And again, God is good. The first time I experienced this call and response, I could not quite believe it. My life seemed especially challenging. I wanted to argue with those who proclaimed such a good God. Where is this goodness you talk about? If God is so good, why isn't God being good to me? I despaired. I would have been quick to argue with the psalmist too. By the end of verse 75, I would have cried out, but haven't I been humbled enough? Fearful of God's judgment and weary of troubles, I couldn't believe that God's humbling of people, of me, might be good, that God's judgments were right. But the word of hope was there in front of me. O oh Lord, in faithfulness you have humbled me. And again, let your steadfast love become my comfort. I don't always understand what is happening to or around me or why, but I rest in God's promises to be faithful and to love me and to love you. Hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm with Pastor Jennifer on that. God is good all the time, all the time God is good. And then we see events like what happened in Buffalo at the, at the shopping, um, at the grocery store, and then Uvalde, Texas, and then yesterday at a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois. And we see the, just the, the, the tragedies and, well, let's face it, evils in our world. Uh, evils perpetrated by people with, with uh, AK-47s or AR-15s or whatever these multiple shot guns are. Um, and, it, and it takes our breath away. And it hurts. And, and our hearts break for families. And our hearts break for victims. Um, and then we go to God and we say, Oof, 
what's going on here? What's going on here? And so to be reminded today that God's steadfast love is always around us, is always here to comfort us and comfort everybody who needs uh, the presence of peace, the presence of God's love, uh, to remind ourselves that it is there, to remind each other that it is there. Uh, that is the work of the followers of God, the followers of Jesus, to, to remind each other that in the face of evil, God is good. In the face of terror, God is good. In the face of all the stuff that's going on in our world, God's love is present. And God's love is with us. And God's love flows through us to others. And that's the important thing too, that God's love is not just for us to keep. God's comfort is not just for us to keep. It's to pass on and to share. I'm going to leave it there for today. Be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands. <clears throat> Excuse me. A mask and distance is appropriate. We're back in the medium range here in Marathon County, um, bouncing back and forth, but we're, we're trying to do what we can to keep ourselves and each other safe. Uh, what else? Um, oh, we do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. You are good all the time, O oh God. Deliver us and be our hope. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.